primal therapy or scream therapy is exactly what it sounds like, and it doesn't work. It's been debunked for decades. So it's a bit weird when adjacent to the yearly GDC, 50 devs come together to organize a lunchtime scream event called GD Scream. Why did they do this? Well, primarily because of layoffs, which is sad, understandably, but every sector in the world for the past year has experienced layoffs post-COVID, including IBM, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Apple, Nike, and more. Most people in game dev are laid off normally once their role is completed or shifted to other projects. It's mostly a part-time and full-time contract lifestyle. So this is nothing new to video game devs per se, nor is it a widespread industry issue. And the second reason? I'm screaming because I was just in a really good, valuable, much appreciated GDC session that I absolutely hated because we talked about diversity in games and we were all marginalized people. And we're all looking at each other going, yeah, it sucks. And for some reason we have to do this and we cannot not do this. And I don't know how to deal with the obligation of having to do this just because I'm the person that I am. Now, I don't know if they're feeling marginalized because they were fired or whatever, but it sounds like someone was listening to a Sweet Baby Inc. presentation on diversity and inclusion. Fortnite festival designer Scott John Siegel spoke to PC Gamer, said he was prompted to organize the event by the frustration he's felt over widespread layoffs and the recent Gamergate 2.0 controversy over narrative consultancy firm Sweet Baby Inc., I think losing your job is a bit of a bigger deal than what some consultancy group that a bunch of gamers don't like are criticizing. Seems like a weird balance of priorities here. Now for this, I just have two suggestions. One, start your own business. Make your own game. If you're really that passionate that you could scream your head off in public, well, put all that energy to good use and get creative. Or two, Try stoicism. No one wants a group of adults screaming that their design or their dev job or whatever job in game dev is done or that a bunch of socialists have been named. Who cares? Try a different sector, try a different industry, or just keep hustling. Screaming isn't going to help you. And I highly doubt legislation is going to make passion projects like the video game industry be more corporate, which will probably produce worse games.